My name is Ben Greenfield, and on this episode of the Ben Greenfield Life Podcast. You must respect what Rene Canton said, because it's so simple and so brilliant. The only way life could have left the ocean was to take the ocean with it. And you did. And you're supposed to keep creating the conditions of the ocean, its composition, its balance of that periodic table of the elements, because the ocean is the only known solution of the periodic table of the elements in the known universe. It's very special. I say God chose this. Faith, family, fitness, health, performance, nutrition, longevity, ancestral living, biohacking, and a whole lot more. Welcome to the show. I want to give a shout out to Keto Brick. Keto Brick's pretty crazy. It's a thousand calorie bar. Sometimes I'll take a week to go through one of these bars. I'll keep it in the fridge in like a Ziploc bag. But oh my gosh, for hiking, for camping, for hunting, for snowboarding, for anything where you just want one bar to last you all day, this is a shelf-stable meal replacement bar that's keto. So not a bunch of sugar and crap, and it tastes amazing. They've got like mocha cream. They've got chocolate peanut butter cup. They have like this nootropic icing flavor. They're designed to optimize nutrition, but also to give you as many calories as you actually need. I mean, one of these in my bag, can last me for an entire day of travel and a couple literally i can hunt for like 12 hours and just have two keto bricks they also actually taste like addictively good they taste like cheesecake but they don't have any you know nasty unnatural ingredients in them so keto brick they're going to give you a free keto brick with any of your first purchase of any bricks you got to try the chocolate peanut butter cup flavor by the way it's so bomb ketobrick.com k e t o b r i c k ketobrick.com and use code ben and that will get you that free keto brick with your first order. You're going to be addicted to these things, I'll warn you, but they're pretty amazing and it's pretty worth it. So ketobrick.com. All right, so whole body wellness is obviously a big part of my life. I'm always looking for new ways to make my body feel great, make my brain feel great. One non-negotiable for me is a daily dose of red light. I can use it to simulate sunlight. I can use it to simulate sunrise, sunset, right in my office, bringing the sun into my own office. The infrared light spectrum is fantastic for boosting cellular energy, for healing damaged cells that are under oxidative stress. There's a ton of clinically proven benefits to it. Better skin, higher testosterone, better blood flow to the whole body, pre-workout or post-workout for recovery. Use them in your office at night when you don't want to flip on all the bright lights, but you want that giant dose of soothing red light therapy. And what I go to is Juve for my red light. They source from the highest quality materials. They got medical grade components. They went through third-party testing. They have safety marks from nationally recognized testing laboratories. They give you the safest, most reliable product. It's unmatched. There's a lot of red light companies out there, but Juve is unmatched. They have a whole body treatment device. I can treat my whole body in 10 to 20 minutes. I do it once a day. They even have a little handheld device called the Juve Go. I can throw in my suitcase and take with me on the go. Barely weighs anything. And so I can do my red light when I'm in my hotel room anywhere in the world. This stuff just works. It travels through TSA too, also just fine. So juve.com slash Ben, J-O-O-V-V dot com slash Ben. Apply my code Ben to your qualifying order and you can feel what infrared's actually like in terms of a big upgrade in your health. J-O-O-V-V dot com forward slash Ben and you're going to get an exclusive discount on your first order when you use my code Ben on your qualifying order. One of my favorite not carbohydrate, not fat, not protein, little known secret macronutrients is now back in stock. It's called ketones. The ones I use are made by HVMN. They're called Ketone IQ. They're perfect for staving your appetite for hours on end, running from meeting to meeting when you can't get food, any type of endurance activity because ketones are a great fuel for the heart, for the liver, for the diaphragm. Anytime you want a great amount of portability, convenience on an airplane, it's amazing because you're not even tempted at all by any food the whole time you're sitting on the airplane. Ketones are 28% more efficient at generating energy than sugar alone. That means you can do a lot more with a lot less, especially when your body gets pushed to the limits because ketones help you convert stored fat into energy. And then with Ketone IQ, you can actually get that without having to fast and excessively restrict carbohydrates. They created this stuff through a $6 million contract from the U.S. Department of Defense, deep partnerships with some of the top researchers in ketone science. It's a truly cutting-edge drink. It avoids the insulin spikes, the caffeine jitters, the mid-afternoon energy crashes. Super simple. You just throw this stuff back. I'll toss back a shot straight out of the bottle. Some people like to mix it with a little water, stevia, stuff like that. But 
Either way, HVMN stands by their products 100%. All right, if you're not satisfied, your order is free. That's how much they believe, and I believe, in the power of ketones. Been using them for years and years. Here's how to get 20% off of any purchase of Ketone IQ. You go to hvmn.me slash beng, hvmn.me slash beng, use code beng, that gets you 20% off of any purchase of Ketone IQ. You can also find them at any California Earth Bar locations, which are usually usually within a, an Equinox. So check them out, hvmn.me slash beng. It's obviously no secret that I'm in the water and the quality of my water and even some of the more fringe spiritual woo-woo s aspects of water and have been for quite some time. I, of course, have a, a father and a brother who are in the water filtration industry. I myself, the same as you, not only drink water, but am made up of a great deal of water in, in my body and my cells. And I think it is underrated as one thing that people don't think about enough. I mean, you know, case in point, you know, the people who are working out at the gym, eating a healthy diet, doing all the biohacking, and then drinking out of a plastic bottle on their way home from the health club or whatever. And, you know, that's, that's just one little example. But water can also be confusing, how to filter it what some of the subtle energies in the water are, a whole whole lot of considerations that go way above and beyond just like, you know, get a water filter or a Brita and, you know, make sure you, you avoid plastics. Like there's a lot more to it than that. And I've had a podcast before where I took a deep dive into a lot of this stuff, like the best water filters and the best brands of bottled water. And you're definitely going to want to listen to that show because my guest on today's show really laid it all out for us beautifully, and his name is Robert Slovak. So please make sure that you go to the show notes for today's show at bengreenfieldlife.com slash Slovak2. His name is spelled S-L-O-V-A-K. So bengreenfieldlife.com slash Slovak2, because this is the second podcast I've done with Robert, and that way you'll be able to pair what you're about to hear with a whole bunch more about water filtration and minerals and hacking water, et cetera. And you also get Robert's whole backstory, which in short is that he had a life-threatening illness. Uh, he was actually saved via a special form of electrolyte replenishment, which has now become kind of like a, a, a worldwide phenomenon, this stuff called Quinton that he uses. But he also now is an, an innovator in reverse osmosis, in bottled water production, in lab purification, in hemodialysis, and seawater desalination, and microchip production, bottled water production, vending water, even spot-free car washes. So this guy is the go-to guy when it comes to water. Robert, welcome back to the show, man. Thank you, Ben. Very uh, happy to be here. It's always nice to have uh, one of the most, if not the most, knowledgeable podcasters in the in the business of health. That. I, I just I just get other people on who are knowledgeable, then channel their information. I got to ask you this though before we jump in. I you know I, whenever I interview like uh, I don't know some superfood hunter or something, I always ask them what they put in their smoothie that morning. So you know I woke up this morning and had some some quinton and some hydrogen tablets and a little bit of a adrenal cocktail, which is like a vitamin C blend from Jigsaw Health, and I stirred that all up and had it out of a big glass mason jar, and that that's how I start every morning as soon as I finish my my coconut oil pulling. I spit it all out, I rinse the mouse and go straight to the mineral and hydrogen enriched water. I got to ask you, do you have like a, a morning brew that that's your go-to for like your morning glass of water? We may get to this before the end of our, our, our podcast, but, and I don't even think you're aware that uh, sometime in the last year, I was hit with a, a spike protein storm uh, as a oh. uh, have concluded and ended up with a fairly serious case uh, of myocarditis like things etc even though oh, I man. never I never tested positive for covid you know I I didn't do any extensive antibody tests cuz everybody probably shows antibodies for covid and I never of course I never I never got a, a, a vaccination but I realize now that uh, through certain associations and situations, one can get uh, the same kind of attack, and I did. So I'm on a – there was a time, Ben, uh, I'm going to guess as little as four months ago, that I, I couldn't walk in one shot to my car 80 yards away. And remind people real quick, 
you're actually, I mean, you're remarkably well preserved. I remember when, when we went for a walk in Utah, we were with, with a bunch of health experts and you took off like a shot and you were walking like a, like a madman. And you're, you know, a lot of people see you and think you're 20 years younger, but, but remind people how old you are just so they understand this whole spike protein deal and it's, it's seriousness. I'm 77. Okay. Got it. So the spike protein and then what happened? And then that had uh, cardiovascular trauma and, uh, you know, accelerated heartbeat, what myocarditis can involve. And, Mm -hmm. you know, lymphedema, I was a mess. And, uh, you know, people didn't think I was going to make it, but I did a lot of things. I mean, the kitchen sink I threw at this. And uh, right now, I I always start my day with ketone isotonic right now to, to really regulate my terrain. And and I'm going to be talking about that today. It's the terrain is everything. And I, I, I'm going to kind of force this upon everybody. You've got to recognize this because it's more important than ever before. But I do a lot of exotic things, including energy uh, devices and red and and near infrared uh, exposure, early morning sun grounding, you know, like I said, the kitchen sink, many herbal things, uh, and colostrum, you name it. So okay. right now I can walk like you remember me walking. Okay. So that was, I'm very happy right now that I can, I have returned my physical, uh, capability, but I have a lot of, still have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the, the long story short, then the answer to, to my question about water that you're drinking in the morning, it sounds like a heck of a lot. I make cocktails with, with, with Hawthorne berry homeopathics and uh, Hawthorne berry herbal extracts. What's uh, Hawthorne you know, berry? Hawthorne berry is probably the most established and relevant uh, heart support herb. Okay, God, did you did you just start doing that since the spike protein thing? Yes, I mean occasionally I I would do Hawthorne Berry, but I never had a heart problem, and, and and my activity level was that of you know somebody fifty years old. So now I'm supporting me with Hawthorne Berry and and a ton of other things. I mean I do probably one of the best things. Uh, probably we won't get to this is is the new performance cardio from from Quicksilver. Uh, it really probably made the biggest single leap in in terms of a nutraceutical that I've taken. And I take a lot of, uh, I do some energy energy things like CBAC, hyperbaric uh, is, has been very good for me, et cetera. Okay, got it. That cardio one from Quicksilver, I was at Runga in Austin and they were, they were handing that out and they, they were giving it to people like before they did the hyperbaric chamber, before they did some of the uh, like like kettlebell workouts and some of the airdyne workouts they have there, actually super interesting. Okay, yeah, it's it's Dan Shen root extract, which is a, a form of the salvia plant. Then it's got the hawthorn in there that you just talked about. He Shu Wu, Jinko leaf, myrrh, ginseng, boswellia, and cinnamon. It's interesting because that's what I like about Dr. Shade, who runs that company. Like he uses some of the advanced delivery mechanisms, you know, like the lipophilic delivery mechanisms. But then he's also got this kind of like knowledge of ancient Chinese medicine, and and so he kind of blends that that ancient stuff with some advanced delivery mechanisms. And and I don't know, I I feel like I I really felt as though uh, I could I could really push myself from a cardiovascular standpoint after using this stuff. I did, I didn't wind up making it part of my protocol, but it's it is a it's a pretty interesting supplement. When he saw me at uh, Asprey's biohacking conferences, I joined the uh, Quicksilver booth to talk about ketone marine plasma. He goes, what have you been doing since the last time I saw you? You, you can actually uh, walk fast again. And I'm going, I'm taking, I'm taking your performance cardio. The cardio perform. Yeah. Interesting. Now, now uh, you're still using the hydrogen tablets too, right? Oh, that's a staple. That's like, almost close to breathing. Okay. Did you see the the study? Because I, I literally I just tweeted it out a few days ago, and then I was like, oh, I'm having Robert on the podcast. I should ask him about this. It was a hydrogen-rich water study, you know, the, the same as you get when you add these tablets to the water. And the, the title was Hydrogen-Rich Water Consumption Positively Affects Muscle Performance, Lactate Response, and Alleviates Delayed Onset of Muscle Soreness after resistance training. And granted, a lot of these journalist strength conditioning studies, they're, they're not that huge. I think this was like a, a dozen men or so. 
but really significant uh, improvement in not only muscle function, but then reduced lactic acid formation, and then way lower onset of muscle soreness. And I, I don't know how far before the workout that they took this stuff, but you and I covered this last time. Unlike a lot of antioxidants like synthetic vitamin C or synthetic vitamin E, the hydrogen doesn't blunt the hormetic response to the workouts like a selective antioxidant. And so I feel like, like you know, because I'm doing like a morning workout a lot of the time that by starting off my day with this giant glass of the hydrogen, I'm probably getting some of those effects. But this is the first time I've seen a, a performance study like this. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you asked me to, to address it and I took a deep dive into it with both Tyler and uh, Alex, who know this business uh, backward and forward, and uh, th they made some comments. Yes, this is very good, but e you know, even even though like muscle soreness and so on is is actually is actually better in in hydrogen hydrotherapy, which is a new coming direction for hydrogen. I mean, hydrogen is a, a nutrient for all seasons. It's just going to be almost like, like ketone is. What's it's, hydrogen hydrotherapy? Hydrogen hydrotherapy is soaking in uh, hydrogen-infused water. Oh, like those bath tablets? Yes, like the bath tablets. You sent me some of those. Don't, don't you guys sell those at Water and Wellness? We do, yeah. It's called Relief. They're big tablets, like three times bigger, like a horse tablet. But, yeah. But you... You, you bathe in them. And I don't know if you remember, well, I'm not even sure we covered it, but about four years ago, I think I told this story when we were discussing hydrogen in one of our past podcasts, uh, I, I, I went running in back at the time when I lived in California, uh, in Orange County, I, I went running with somebody like, uh, you know, a Navy SEAL level athlete in, in the canyon in back of my home. And, mm -hmm. and, and it was like an off-road, very tough thing and probably shouldn't have done it at 77, but I did. And, and, and he got ahead of me and, and, and I, that bothered me. And so I, I saw this, I knew that this big, ruddy, rocky hill was coming up and I thought, hey, I, I'm, I'm going to catch up to him there. Well, I, I was like uh, out of a Roadrunner cartoon. I, I mean, I took a tumble down this this long, uh, steep hill, and I fractured both of my ankles. Okay. Oh, geez. At first, the adrenaline took care. I said, "Hey, uh, Michael, I, I I think I didn't even hurt myself." But when I tried to get up, so he took me to the emergency room, and blah blah blah. And the guy goes. You're 77 and you are doing this, blah, blah, blah. I said, yes, I mean, I feel comfortable doing it, but I did something stupid. So, you know, this is before I ever even thought of putting, soaking my feet in hydrogen. But when I came home after, in, in a wheelchair with crutches, I the first thing I did was, well, I'm going to stay home for at least five days and I'm going to keep my feet in, in this little plastic box. And I'm going to keep the water cool to prevent the release of or slow down the release of hydrogen. I put the tab. I put like 30 little tablets in it. There was no rules at the time. Yeah. And and I will tell you that after two days of not even being able to take a step on my feet, I was walking in the complex hmm. that I lived in. Interesting. And in in six days, I was jogging lightly in that complex huh wow with the, with the fracture and everything huh went back to the doctor and goes what the hell what, what are you doing okay and and the rest is the fun part of the story but that showed me holy mackerel have i just discovered something for myself and now it's there's a great study i have and maybe you can arrange for 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 me to uh, i'm offering your your audience some really uh, neat uh, files and folders and, and resource information if if you want to make it available to them on your site. Yeah, the, the hydrogen, I remember when you sent me those tablets, I had wondered about the absorption and then I realized, well, well hydrogen is an incredibly small molecule. I, I wouldn't see an issue with the absorption of it. But uh, I, I looked it up and there was, I couldn't find that many studies, but I found two interesting things I wanted to run by you. One was, you know, like like the whole skin appearance, like skin blotches, uh, lipofuscin, I think that is called. 
and then uh, like like dermal cell turnover seems to be improved. And this was a six month protocol where where they were they were literally I think using the bath almost every day. Uh, but then they also saw some really interesting things with like fasted blood glucose and and oxidation and things that I wouldn't necessarily expect to see via like a like a transdermal absorption. And so it is interesting. I don't I don't I don't think it's that convenient to have to take a bath and the stuff every day. But, you know, for, for me, for example, Robert, I do like a magnesium salts bath once a week. And and when you'd send me the hydrogen, I would just put it in the bath. I'd, you know, I do the red light. I do the magnesium salts, usually some essential oil. But that was interesting. And, and they even showed a little bit of a reduction in visceral fat. So so there's something going on with the bathing, even though it hasn't really become a, a staple in my protocol again, because I don't want to be that biohacker who's living his life in a, in a cold tub and a hydrogen bath all my life. Uh, but the other thing that was interesting was I found this device. I wanted to ask you about it. It's called a, a Q spa and you, you like put it into the bath and it supposedly makes hydrogen. I, I know another guy named Max Casa who's been using it in the float tanks that he designs. What do you think about bypassing the tablets and just like putting a, a device in the bathtub that automatically makes the hydrogen for you? Well, I don't know. Certainly the tablets can make a higher concentration and driving force for hydrogen than the device that's making it. I presume it's making it electrolytically, Right. Yeah, I think that's the way it works. I'm not 100% sure, but because you're not... Is it battery operated? Well, it's submerged in the water. And because I, I, I'd, I'd seen it once, I used to have a float tank and I got rid of it because it was too much upkeep. But but Max had put one of those in the float tank and all you did was you just put it underneath the water. You press the button and it supposedly produced like 1900 PPG or PPB hydrogen rich water. 1900 ppb is 1.9 ppm which is basically uh, close to the 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 saturation of hydrogen at atmospheric pressure okay yeah, yeah. interesting but, but the tablets can make far more than that three four or five times that wow okay and of course you have to account for the dissipation you know the dissipation of the hydrogen into the atmosphere so i i i just kept throwing tablets in, you know, and put a little, hand. at that time, there were no rules. So I have this, uh, this, this research report from, from, from uh, Serbia. It's a um, case report, acute hydrotherapy with super saturated hydrogen rich water for ankle sprain in a professional athlete, blah, blah, blah. It's a very good study. And uh, I'm going to send it to you when, when uh, I'm done. Okay, cool. Interesting. All right. So, so there's all, all sorts of little areas that we could delve into from, from the hydrogen bathing to the, uh, to the Quinton, which we kind of exhausted on, on the last topic. But, uh, first let me, let me ask you, uh, since we're on the hydrogen topic right now, is there anything new besides adding hydrogen to your, to your bathing water that you think should be addressed on the hydrogen front? You actually mentioned it. And, and, and there's also another intermediate tablet called it. H2 Beauty, okay? Okay. And H2 Beauty is another tablet that we make specifically for these these kind of masks uh, that that women use and they put various beauty solutions on it and cover their face and, you know, relax and so on. But this is for soaking those masks in a hydrogen rich solution. Okay. Wait wait so so is is this for the face? I don't I don't quite understand. It's it's primarily yeah for for the face and complexion and so on. What would you do with it? You're actually making like a solution that you apply to the face. You put X amount of tablets in the prescribed amount of water, and then when its reaction is over, you soak this. I mean, these are masks, uh, beauty masks that that women put beauty solutions on and so on, and men too, of course. Uh, and and you soak it in whatever the solution is. It it, it, it could be. Uh, aramint oil or whatever, but this is hydrogen okay. and it delivers the hydrogen to the epidermis. So it's great. Now, one other thing about the hydrogen, I've been contacted by a few people recently who are concerned about whether whether or not hydrogen tablets have like fillers or binders or other crap in them. And I, I think there's like this this rumor going around that if you're drinking hydrogen, you might be drinking toxins or something like that. Have you heard any of that? Well, yes, this kind of started with uh, with Greg the Hydrogen Man, okay? Greg the Hydrogen Man? Greg the Hydrogen Man, and, and he, is, he, he has uh, put out more misinformation and, and, and toxic information. It sounds like a superhero, the Hydrogen Man. 
Yeah, he he sells he sells the Lord's uh, hydrogen machine, and one of the okay. first machines that that uses electrolysis. Maybe the newest one uses PEM technology to get hydrogen into the water at like 1.6 ppm. So he represents that, and we have the most intense quality assurance and. The product has, is a new dietary ingredient approved by the FDA, and it's been through everything. Every batch is tested for toxins, and there's no fillers in the hydrogen tablet. There's things to make it work only, really, that, one, they create a intermediate, slightly acidic solution to make the reaction go between uh, elemental magnesium and the water, which produces hydrogen gas plus a weak solution of uh, magnesium hydroxide. And then as that reaction proceeds, the, the solution goes to an alkaline pH. And, that, and that's it. It's, it's fairly unglamorous, but extremely difficult to make the tablet. Okay. So so basically, why would people be be spreading this rumor about, about fillers? Like, has the water actually been tested? Has anybody done like a, like dissolved hydrogen and then tested the water or something like that to see? No report. He even uh, he even spread the rumor uh, that our product had had been rejected or canceled from being sold in in Japan. And we go, we never even approached selling it in Japan. Hmm. Okay, so I mean, we are at a loss, and and we're dealing with that situation uh, as as it needs to be handled uh, in in another realm. Okay. And then a quick reminder for people who are listening who, and I, I don't, I don't recall the exact amount of time, but when you dissolve these tablets in the water, you should drink the water pretty soon after the tablets have dissolved. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would say because, uh, this new generation of tablets that's been out for more than a year and a half, uh, actually creates 20 to 50 nanometer nano bubbles. Okay. Which is an incredible feat in itself, that these are very, very stable. Nano bubbles are very, very stable. So I think for the, the ultimate uh, c- concentration, you should do this and drink your whatever, 12 to 14 ounces per tablet in under five minutes. So obviously, Robert, we, we've we geeked out on water and on Keenton. And like I mentioned, folks go to bengreenfieldlife.com slash Slovak2, Slovak the number two. They can hear more about this this mineral that you found and the whole story of your threatening illness. It's fascinating, but obviously we've covered that before. And we don't necessarily have to, have to revisit how you restore and maintain your biological terrain using these little plasma elements in, in, in the form of Keenton. That's what I would have said, Ben, but this last... Weekend and a half ago in, in Scottsdale, Arizona, I was invited to speak as a keynote at the HeartQuest conference. It was a very a kind of elite conference of virtually only practitioners. And it was really HeartQuest is the company, kind of the leader in heart rate variability measurement. Well, I'm a big fan of heart rate variability. I've seen what it did. And, and it was, it was Michael, Dr. Michael Kessler owns this company. So at the conference, you know, I w- was, was going to give them a review of the terrain. And, and the title was, uh, The Terrain Is Everything. And uh, just, I went, decided on this thing to go right back to the origin of the terrain. And, and doctors have just, as many of the great physiologists of history, like I mean, starting with Claude Bernard, the father of physiology, Antoine Béchamp, and and the the, the guru of all physiologists, Alfred Kissinger, uh, who is you know lives during lived during our time, they spoke in great detail about the origin of the terrain and how we inherited it from evolution in the sea, okay? Now, I, this sometimes could be a sensitive subject for you uh, in terms of evolution, but... Well, I believe in evolution. I just don't believe the, the world occurred through evolution. But but nonetheless, it, 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 that, that's okay. Go ahead. So anyway, uh, I started at the beginning, and these doctors had never known, none of them, except one guy, I mean, like a, 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 a brainiac guy, who also gave a great talk on the terrain and and that that your 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 body your terrain is a fluid and a matrix of proteoglycans and complex web that 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 your cells live in 
I mean, this is their home, just like evolution was uh, the home of evolution was the sea for two point like six billion years before life left the sea. And so these people never made that connection before. And they just went crazy over this presentation because it all came clear. They had forgotten the terrain and its meaning and what all the people wrote about the terrain. Uh, you know, the terrain, which was introduced in 1850 by Claude Bernard, and then that terrain versus the germ event between Anton Bechamp and, and uh, Louis Pasteur in the 1870s. This was the defining point for, for medicine. There was a, a war kind of of the minds between the Claude Bernard and Antoine Bechamp, who said, hey, your terrain determines if you get a disease. The state of your terrain determines what diseases you get, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Louis Pasteur said, no, diseases, all the known diseases in the body are caused by uh, by microbes and, and et cetera. So uh, this war went on, and, and then it's a famous thing that Pasteur supposedly recanted, you know, when he was getting very, very old and saw it. The, the terrain won out, but what changed it was when the cabal decided to get into medicine in the late 1800s, and this is when the Rockefeller Foundation and the petroleum, its petroleum interest decided to own pharmaceutical medicine, to begin pharmaceutical medicine. Okay. And then they produced a report called the Flexnor Report. It's fascinating. And this was the fake news of the early 1900s that set the stage for the American Medical Association, which then was the demise of natural medicine as as it was known. And this is what we live under now. We, we live under this, you know, the pharmaceutical giants and, and, and their dictates and their, their mostly fake medicine. So um, I presented this and there were actually two female doctors who, who wept upon hearing this connection between the sea and our terrain. And we have to. And I tell them and I tell your audience, you have to respect that your bioterrain, which runs the show of your body, which allows you to live out of the ocean when you left the ocean 450 million years ago, uh, when our species left 450 million years ago, you must respect what Rene Canton said, because it's so simple and so brilliant. The only way life could have left the ocean was to take the ocean with it. And you did. And you're supposed to keep creating the conditions of the ocean, its composition, its balance of the periodic table of the elements, because the ocean is the only known solution of the periodic table of the elements in the known universe. It's very special. I say God chose this. Is that is that why the King Ton tastes so much like ocean water when you drink it like it like I'll give it to people and they're like, oh, it tastes like seawater. It's harvested from a plankton bloom, a very special place. It, it, it's maintained under the most fastidious care until it is put into those glass ampules. It is also uh, sterile and, and, and apyrogenic. So, you know, this has been used throughout the, the entire 20th century as a medicine in the physician's desk reference called the Vidal of Europe. And it was an esteemed solution because this is, Quinton was pre-antibiotics and there were only like potions and things available in the early 1900s. So Quinton was used in these 69 marine dispensaries as they called them and they administered in every way you can imagine by injection, by IV, et cetera. This is what was used for cholera, tuberculosis, syphilis, gastroenteritis, which I had uh, gotten in Brazil, in, in the wilds of Brazil, and it saved my life, and, and why I'm doing this right now, talking about it. Quintone allows us to main, maintain the marine inheritance of the ocean on a daily basis. It is from birth, till death, in fact, pre-birth, pre-conception till death, that king tone or some equivalent of it 
should be used. You must have the periodic table, Ben. Okay. Your audience must know this. It's not just some mineral mineral solution from from the inland sea or Celtic sea salt, etc. It has to be the ocean. It has to be the right place in the ocean. It has to be a plankton bloom. It has to be from the zone of biocenosis, and it has to be prepared fastidiously under refrigeration in glass piping until it gets in those ampules. So we got this phytoplankton like colonies in the ocean. Phytoplankton is on the surface in okay. the first hundred feet, and zooplankton is like hangs out at three hundred feet below the phytoplankton and ascends periodically into the phytoplankton and consumes it, just like a cow goes out to pasture. I mean, it's a copy of of God's design. So so they come out and in this whole plankton bloom, which can be as much as 100 kilometers across, you have this rich concentration of phyto and zooplankton, and their interaction with the periodic table of the elements from the sea create what we know as ketone marine plasma. Let's talk nicotine, shall we? Everybody knows it's great for focus. I mean, you don't have to get it from cigarettes, but it is actually a pretty potent nootropic. I mean, it occurs naturally in a lot of plants, most obviously the tobacco plant, but you can get it without all the carcinogens. And the way that you can get it and get it naturally from a company that makes natural products for people who want to use nicotine to relax or focus or, or unwind after a long day or boost the energy in the evening without keeping you up all night. Uh, it's this company called Lucy. They're a modern oral nicotine company, and they make gum and lozenges and pouches that are super tasty for any adults who are looking for the best, most responsible way to consume their nicotine. And it's a new year, so why not start it out by switching to a new nicotine product you can actually feel good about? What you do is you go to lucy.co. You can use promo code BEN20. I recommend their pomegranate two or four milligram gum. That's the one I dig. I chew a couple pieces a day right now. It's amazing. Lucy.co and use promo code BEN20 at checkout. That's lucy.co. Use code BEN20 at checkout. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical, so be careful, my friends. Lucy.co and use promo code BEN20. Be mindful, be careful, but enjoy that little high that nicotine can give you because it's quite nice. I'm pretty stoked because this is now something I can do when I'm on the go, and it's based on this idea that the human body being mostly water. But what you probably don't know is everything else in your body is 50% amino acids, that means basically water and amino acids are two of the most important things that you can have in your body. And some amino acids are essential. You have to get them from food, from breaking down steak and chicken and eggs and everything else. But this stuff called Keon Aminos is a plant-based full essential amino acids profile backed by over 20 years of clinical research with the highest quality ingredients, no fillers, no junk, rigorous quality testing, tastes amazing with all natural flavors. I got on the amino acids bandwagon way back when I was racing Ironman triathlon, started with branch chain amino acids, realized those were a waste of time, switched over to essential amino acids, and it has been a game changer ever since. Now, what did I mean when I said travel? Well, these Keon aminos, which are the essential amino acids that I take, they have for the watermelon flavor, the lemon lime flavor, the berry flavor, and uh, the mango flavor. They got stick packs now, so you can take them on the go anywhere. I, can, I honestly have like a couple packs in my fanny pack now. I can dump them in water when I'm at a restaurant, have that instead of like a bread a basket that comes out or a cocktail. They satiate the appetite. They accelerate recovery. They're amazing pre-workout or during a workout. The list goes on and on. Fact is, if you haven't tried essential amino acids, you're missing out. And you can save 20% now on any monthly deliveries and 10% on any one-time purchases if you go to getkeon.com slash Ben. That's getkion.com slash Ben to get my fundamental supplement for fitness. Keon Aminos, getkion.com slash Ben. So the phytoplankton are consumed by the zooplankton. The zooplankton then excrete all these like amino acids and antioxidants and minerals and polysaccharides and fatty acids and all this stuff that basically if you were to isolate it and you were to actually figure out a way to filter it, which is essentially what quinton is, bears a pretty close resemblance to human plasma, like our internal terrain 
and therefore by by consuming that or drinking it or doing like I did this morning, I broke open a couple of the ampules of of Quinton and put them into my water. That's like a nutrient rich soup that supports our internal biological terrain, which if you're a, uh, if <laughs> I'll use a triggering word, if you're a germ theory denialist <laughs> and you think that it's more important to maintain your internal terrain when it comes to disease prevention would be a way that you would actually support that terrain by literally drinking the fluid that most closely mimics human plasma. Even more remarkable is that in 1904, uh, Quinton, René Canton, the revolutionary biologist, physiologist of his day, discovered or put this whole idea together that we're, we're, we're designed in the sea in 1897. But by 1904, he, he wanted to have some pretty, pretty uh, obvious proof that it was compatible with uh, the animal species. And he fam- a famous, famous, famous event. He transfused six canines completely their whole blood and many doctors are shaking their head in the audience not possible not possible but it's possible there's a 500 page treatise called l'eau de mer milieu organique which means that your your internal terrain and body fluids are the same as the the sea so um he transfused them and the dogs all survived and thrived two of the dogs had been sickly and their diseases were eliminated so this this changed everything. That's what allowed Europe or encouraged Europe to come out with the 69 marine dispensaries in northern Africa, where cholera was rampant, and in Europe. Uh, it was also for childhood tuberculosis, which was in a small epidemic in the United States. Kingstone was actually imported in the early 1900s into the United States as a treatment for childhood tuberculosis. Blood research institutes have proven that ketone remain plasma isotonic can replace whole blood. Would this be something that, let's say, you know, a doctor was using an IV saline solution, theoretically, even though the, I think the cost would be astronomical for this to be adopted around the world, you could use Quinton instead of a, a, a saline solution uh, for intravenous, say, rehydration protocols? It's done all the time. It's not technically legal in most states in the United States, but in the rest of the world, uh, it's fairly common. That's why we sell Quintone in sterile apyrogenic liters as well. That's the Quintone that you can get in the big glass bottles? Yes, and it's quite inexpensive. It's not much more than saline. The military is actually looking at marine plasma saline as the perfect battlefield blood plasma and blood whole blood replacement because it doesn't have to be stored it can't have disease it doesn't need to, to be refrigerated it's perfect what's interesting you'll you'll like this robert i just got back from san miguel de allende in mexico and they actually have what's called the International Society of of percutaneous hydrotomy i'm a friend of pierre le perot Okay, cool. Because that that percutaneous hydrotomy, I know it's a big word. I've never had it done, but apparently you do like injections of the Quinton isotonic sterile water and it generates like new mucous membranes around the area where it's injected and it's used for like herniated discs and relief of back pain and fibromyalgia. And they're literally just like injecting the stuff around joints with a needle, almost like the same way you do, I don't know, platelet-rich plasma or stem cells or something like that. Pierre Le Perot. We provide the Quinton for him for percutaneous hydrotomy. Oh, wow. And he was once the, the head administrator of the Miami General Hospital and uh, was retiring. He's, he's a, a very sharp uh, Cuban uh, guy who's an expert in hospital care and all that. And he, the, he was retiring with his wife in Mexico and decided, hey, he said, honey, I'm going to take one more, one last ski trip in Utah, okay? Well, he did, and he had uh, the, the accident of, of his lifetime and screwed up his back, and uh, he knew not to get a back surgery and went to the Guayas Institute in Nice, France, which is the institute that created this or perfected this treatment called percutaneous hydrotomy. 
and he became healed and, and it was like a revelation to him. So he, he went down there and, and to San Miguel de Allende and started the, the pain center. And he maintains that I've sent a dozen people to him, all of whom would wrap their arms around me when they see me, because many of them had had surgery and, and it didn't work, et cetera, et cetera. Interesting that when I first met Tracy Dews at an A4M. Yeah, the, the, the gal who runs the, uh, the healing center down in San Diego. Yes, the healing center. But, you know, she's she's been, a, a, you know, a, a water technology, water science student of mine for a long time. And, and now she's a, a colleague. Her book called Hydrate is just coming out uh, in, in a week or so. So, I mean, she has really amped up her, her level of knowledge about water and uh, is a spectacular person. But when she came to the, the booth I was in at uh, A4M, there was a young man with her, kind of soldierish looking guy, handsome and so on. And he was walking with a cane. Uh, and, and before I spoke to her, I reached out to him and said, what's going on with you? And he said, oh, it's, it was it was a military accident and, and nothing has worked. And, you know, I, I feel I'm resigned to doing this. And he was in his, I think, late 30s. I said, do you ever hear a percutaneous hydrotomy? So to make a long story short, he ends up, you know, even after he's had treatments and so on, going down to San Miguel de Allende, where his family lives, of all things. And he went down there and got treatments. I think he went a second time, but he is like Robert. That was one of the greatest gifts I received in my life. So people should be aware of that. That's a great thing to know. Pain Center in San Miguel de Allende. Good excuse to go back to that place. It was one of the coolest cities in Mexico I've ever, I've ever been to. One of the coolest cities in the world I've ever been to. So add that to your bucket list, folks, for, for a cool place to visit. Now, one last thing regarding the, the terrain theory. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be remembering this incorrectly, but didn't Louis Pasteur, like the father of you know, modern pathology and, and the guy who, who really did a lot for us regarding germ theory, didn't he like admit later on in life that the microbe was less important than the terrain or something like that? Yes. I mean, that is um, actually there were I, there was another guy that also did. It was one of the guys in medicine, too. I can't remember. I can't remember who it was at the time, but I confirmed that Pasteur and another physiologist of the day also uh, recanted and, 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 and said, you know, we, we recognize the terrain. But by that time, Louis Pasteur had been bought off and, and the rest is, you know, was like a Fauci. OK, gotcha. Regarding Quinton, just a, a few kind of usage type of uh, questions. There's a few different kinds. There's like the super salty one, which I think is called the hypertonic. And then the other one's called the uh, isotonic, I believe. Is it true that you're supposed to take one like for a more energetic feeling earlier in the day, like the saltier one and the less salty one later on in the day? Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. But, but think of health conditions. There's one philosophy that the isotonic is the medicine, the hypertonic is the nutrient, Okay. So because isotonic has immediate access to restoring and rebalancing the composition of the bioterrain, the composition being the periodic table of the elements in precise proportions, it does it faster than the hypertonic does. So when someone is under a health condition, uh, in general, there are exceptions, but in general, the isotonic is preferred. Okay. And you would take, if you were under serious health conditions, you know, two to even four for certain serious conditions would be uh, called for. Uh, and also, when I told you I spoke at the HeartQuest conference, and that was uh, put on by Dr. Michael Kessler, you know, about, I don't know, I think it was about seven years ago, he called me on the phone on Sunday morning and said, Robert, is this Robert Slovak? I go, Yes. He goes, I'm Dr. Kessler. Do you know who I am? I said, no. And he said, do you know, I have just discovered something with my heart rate variability. Do you know that in every patient I have seen, my, my, his wife is a doctor too, that we have seen, we discovered that one, even one ampule of isotonic can shift someone from sympathetic to parasympathetic in less than 10 minutes. I'm going, 
holy mackerel, mm. that blows my mind. And so he became a fan of, of, of King Tone and asked me to be the keynote speaker and go through the terrain, et cetera, et cetera. But I think, uh, you know, he, he came at, just for everyone's information. Uh, he, he just they just announced a brand new, super advanced heart rate variability device. So it's something to look into, and it's called HeartQuest. That's the company. HeartQuest. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Do you know if that's like a wearable or strap or? Yes, it it, it has, and I, I I really didn't get into it because I own uh, one of the original HeartQuests, and uh, th- this new one has like a an a portable add-on thing uh, that 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 the patient can wear and. I don't know if it transmits back to the to the base station or collects data and then you download it. Okay. All right. Got it. The volume that one would consume, ideally, let's say somebody is listening to this and they want to try Keenton, what would be like the ideal gold standard use for something like this, just for general health or longevity? You know, for two to three months, maybe. Uh, if, if, if you are, as almost, we could say most people now are, are experiencing some diminishing of their, their health experience, I would take start with two ampules per day for two to three months. Okay. All right. Got it. Unless you're doing the, uh, the percutaneous hydrotomy and figuring out how to inject it into your joints. So I'm sure there's some, there's some biohacker listening in who's going to do that, you know, uh, but proceed with caution, be, be careful with needles. It is it's fairly common now to administer some of the, the new nutraceuticals, NAD, AMPK, et cetera, glutathione. Mm-hmm with ketone marine plasma, but it's not something we can discuss because the, the, the pharmaceutical companies are have been gunning for Laboratoires Canton, which is the 126 uh, year old company started by Rene Canton, and it's it's still in existence and going strong. And that company was in, in trouble in the mid 1970s when France, after ha- where it was originally made in Paris, when France elected after experiencing Canton and what it could do for 75 years by then, France elected to give Canton to all of its citizens free of charge. Wow. I mean, how is that an endorsement for, for a health product? I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening in the U S anytime soon, but well, but. well, yeah. And, and they didn't get very far either. The, the pharmaceutical cartel, immediately reacted and with their influence passed laws with the pharmacopoeia of Europe that anything that was injected, and this was used, Quinton was used in, in, in hospitals and uh, IV, and most of the work was done with subcutaneous injection. They passed a law that anything that was injected had to be heat sterilized. You can imagine what would have happened there. And it put Quinton laboratories, uh, you know, in, in the background for the next 25 years, when in 2004, when I actually discovered Quintone in, in Brazil, France, the country, held a 100-year symposium honoring the uh, humanitarian and scientific contribution of René Quintone. And all the schools of Quintone showed up and delivered over this week-long thing seminars and training presentations, etc. And they issued an entirely new paradigm of the oral use of ketone, because for the past better part of a century, it was typically injected, IV'd, et cetera. And now they went back and, and, and they figured out that the oral protocols were just as valid. Not in treating cholera, you would probably have to still inject subcutaneously. Now, what about this? These these sachets that aren't in glass, but they're kind of like more travel friendly sachets. One says three point three on the front of it, and then I have another one that says zero point nine. Is that the same as the hypertonic versus the isotonic? I assume the hypertonic would be the three point three. Yes, and the iso zero point nine, and those think of that as just be still being able to effectively uh, maintain the composition of the terrain in terms of its periodic table in the right proportions. But this is not uh, for the heaviest use in in treating health conditions, okay? okay? 
you, 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 you should go to the ampules. And there's lots of energetic explanations for this. It's much more complex a substance. It's, it's much more complex? Is that because it's in glass or some, or some other reason? No, they're, they're both the same. But I'm just saying in general, Cantone is much more complex. So it has like 100 plus micronutrients in it. Antifungals, anti it, there's natural from the sea. So it's got this plethora of, uh, of of micronutrients that have many kinds of functions. It's got RNA fragments, DNA, et cetera. Very, very complex, not just the minerals, but those things are much more delicate. So while the minerals are never going to go away, the sachet is fine. But over time, those micronutrients can only be protected in the glass ampule. And Rene Cantone knew that. Okay. All right. That's good to know. All right. So, so you mentioned a couple of conferences that you were at, like the Bulletproof Conference and the A4M, which is the American Academy for Anti-Aging Medicine. I know you get around and you talk to a lot of folks. And like I mentioned earlier, at 77, you're, you're remarkably well put together. And so I'm curious for you, what, what are some other things that you've discovered and implemented into your own, whatever you want to call it, like anti-aging or longevity protocol, as far as staples, whether it's based on what you're doing with your water, water or anything else that you think people would really benefit from that might fly under the radar or things that you've discovered lately that you're super excited about in your in your travels and your learnings? I think for me, the staples really are Canton and, and hydrogen and alkalizing my body and, um, you know, all the basic nutrients, you know, the natural vitamin C, et cetera, et cetera, is part of my world. But I have become, uh, let's say for now, distracted by energy medicine and various therapies that um, are you know, more exotic, like CVAC uh, and hyperbaric, et cetera. So I'm exploring that largely because I have an uphill challenge still to, to go. And, and and deal with some issues in my health. Yeah, and and CVAC, by the way, some people might not know what that is, but it's it's cyclic variation and altitude conditioning. Is essentially you think of it as though you're you're going from the tippy top of a mountain down to sea level over and over again while inside of a pod like device. And there are supposedly some pretty significant effects on things like uh, cardiovascular health and oxygenation when using it. And it's a little bit different than a hyperbaric uh, oxygen treatment, like, like an HBOT chamber. It's more like hypobaric hypoxia because you're kind of like depleting the muscles when you're at that super high altitude. But I know a lot of people, even though I don't use a CVAC, a lot of people will kind of combine that with uh, with HBOT or exercise with oxygen therapy and kind of have different times during the week where they're at extreme hypoxia and then also hyperoxia. The thing with the CVAC devices, though, is, is from what I understand, like home versions of that aren't readily accessible. Like you have, to, you have to go to a clinic to use a CVAC, right? Yes, yes. You know, they're like a couple hundred thousand dollars. So there's not, not many people have them in their home. When it comes to energy medicine, are you doing anything with pulsed electromagnetic field frequencies or anything frequency-wise? I'm a big fan of PEMF. I use it almost daily. I also have something called the Rasha. I don't know if you're familiar with that. One of my clients has the Rasha, and it, it's kind of crazy. Explain it to people. Well, the Rasha is a, a scalar device that delivers information to the body at a quantum level and a scalar level. And um, there is quite a lot written on it. The, the, the presentations are quite impressive. And my brother gave some assistance who was, my brother was a physicist and quantum physicist and biomedical engineer. Uh, he gave uh, some assistance to, uh, his name is Jared Dugenio, and, and, and they collaborated to produce this energy, very advanced energy device that is that delivers many forms of information, including all the right uh, frequencies, and it delivers them in a scalar and in a tactile and in audio a format all at once. So you're wearing earphones, you're sitting in a special chair, 
and and then there's a device that's putting out a scalar field of information. Yeah. So it's very complex, very high end. It's almost like a sound healing table mixed with uh, what I think are like electromagnetic frequencies, but but then the the sound is more like an infrasound frequency where it's traveling through your body. So it's almost like having your own sound bath. I have no clue how much a thing costs. It's it's pretty sexy looking. I don't imagine it's inexpensive. Think of it from fifty thousand on up. I, I have one of these that that I use on a regular basis, and I mean it deals with many different conditions like geopathic stress, and it has a menu. And I'm using it for for lymphedema and some very. It has a very big uh, dictionary, so to speak, of pathologies. Kind of like the biocharger, probably a little bit more powerful, but but there's a whole host of different recipes. It's in the same realm as a biocharger. Yeah. And there's another newer thing. You may want to look into this. I just recently did a podcast on it. Uh, it's from a company called Amortal, A-M-M-O-R-T-L. I'll link to it in the show notes, but it's a chamber is like the high, high end version of it, which blends light, vibration, magnetics, molecular hydrogen, music, meditation, breath work, and even some spiritual intention practices. And you just lay on this, this bed. I haven't been on it yet. I think they have a prototype in Denver. I'm going to try soon, but then they have a home unit that uses um, what's called a multi-wave pulsed electromagnetic field. And it's, it's fascinating. You should listen to the podcast I did with these folks. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll link to it in the show notes, but it's called the, the Amortal made by the, the, the uh, Bioenergetic Institute in Lexington. But that one's pretty interesting as well. If you're into electrical medicine. Lexington, Kentucky? or Yeah, they're, they're based in Lexington, Kentucky, but I think they're, they're just now taking pre-orders for their unit. It's not inexpensive. I think it's like a twelve to $15,000 unit, just like the basic home unit. And you, you hold a glass kind of globe looking thing as it does a sweep of your whole body and then kind of like a specialized form of, of PMF. And it's, it's, it's very interesting in terms of like a whole body energy medicine treatment. So that one would be right up your alley too, to, to check out. You know, I wonder if we can, when, when you, if, if you're ready and you, you have the time, if we can say a few things about what the consumer is facing in the water business, because it's really concerning me. Okay. We got about like 10 minutes max here to, to keep going. So yeah, go ahead. Water is really becoming a big issue. And as people learn more and get into more serious studies and biohacking and so on, we realize that, you know, water is a big deal and, and, and the contaminants in the water aren't getting better. I mean, it's getting worse now with this new studies on PFASs, which are the, the, the polyfluoroalkyl alkyl substances that comprise the non-stick. Why frogs are becoming female or whatever. Yeah. Scotch guard, all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's, 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 it's far worse than even glyphosate. Okay. You know, everybody in the water business is taking advantage of this and people just go out. They don't have a clue uh, on how to source uh, equipment and 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 there's some things is now I'm talking about drinking water here. Uh, point of entry is 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 beyond the scope of of this presentation for sure because it's much more complex. Uh, as your your uh, father knows very well and he's very qualified to discuss point of entry systems with people. But that said, from the point of entry thing, at the point of use, which means point of use P O U is something that's in your home or office that supplies drinking water and that that's made that drinking water comes from purifying the local water supply or your well water etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, uh what happens is that when people go on the internet uh, which is where most things are bought these days they are romanced into a, a state of misinformation and hype, uh, et cetera. Uh, and, and they just tend to believe that, oh, here's our product that can remove, you know, a hundred things from the water. Well, you know, in our world, there's about 85,000 chemicals, each of which has a unique and potential toxicity. And about a hundred of those are, are monitored by United States public water systems. There's about 200 that Congress isn't releasing, 200 contaminants, because 
it's not that they're they're hiding it from anybody. These are are less discussed contaminants, but they're 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 withholding issuing them to the EPA that hey, our water municipal water has to meet has to uh, deal with these too. But if they release them, no one could afford the water. Okay, because they require such exotic technologies, et cetera, et cetera, to remove them. And PFAS is one of them. It can be found in almost everyone in the world. Okay. It can be found in babies, fetuses, uh, it, it, you name it. it. Every waterway, you can find PFASs uh, and PFOSs. So this concerns me. And, and people are buying things just on the basis that these things will be removed by this internet supplier's product. I'm going to give people some some rules first thing you do when you say honey i want to buy a a, a water purification system to make drinking water in our house please go to the epa site for every water source supplier in the united states that has more than 25 people and it's you simply put in the internet water quality report for lexington kentucky say whatever, whatever your town is. Okay. Okay. And that will come up. I mean, 99% of the time it will come up with something and, and then this will come up and it will discuss where you get your water from and issues and contaminants. Now the, the average, the average consumer homeowner is not going to understand a lot of this, but you must have this as at least a guideline for things, especially heavy metals, synthetic organic chemicals, which include all the pesticides and PFASs and PFOSs, uh, volatile organic chemicals, which control, which basically involves every, you know, parole, petroleum derivative, things that easily evaporate into the air, uh, disinfectants, chlorine, chloramine, chlorine dioxide, total trihalomethanes that are produced from disinfectants reacting with natural organic matter. Those are things that cause uh, uh, miscarriages, et cetera, radionuclides and fluoride. These are the key things that you want to make sure that your device can remove. And there's very few that can. And for many are called, but few are chosen. Let's say you see a convincing website that says our thi- uh, our thing can it, it can can remove all of these contaminants and et cetera et cetera et cetera and and the claims I'd say I'd have to say that seventy plus percent of all the websites make false claims on drinking water appliances. What I want to guide you on is please you must assure that a de- any device you buy is tested to NSF slash ANSI ANSI standards, and that you double check that that report of the testing, and the testing is expensive. I've tested products for 35 years and was also on the original team of 12 people who wrote these standards for all these tests, and they're tough, and they're expensive. Like to, to approve for all the contaminants, one device, forty to fifty thousand dollars. Wow. And most people who make these systems don't want to pay that. Yeah. So here are the three testing laboratories. If it's not on the one of these three testing laboratories that are certified by NSF and ANSI then you want to stay away from those products. Okay, NSF or or ANSI? NSF, ANSI. So those things are one, NSF Laboratory in Ann Arbor, Michigan, IAPMO, I-A-P-M-O in Ontario, California, and the Water Quality Association in Lyle, Lyle, Illinois, their their gold seal program. These, if it doesn't appear in one of those entities, conclusive test reports on the performance of a particular model that you're considering, you don't want to continue to consider it. 
Okay. What what I'll do is I'll I'll find in case people didn't remember all the alphabet soup of letters, I will add all of that to the show notes. Yeah, you could send it to me too. I'll I'll put anything you send over to the show notes, Robert, at bengreenfieldlife.com slash Slovak two. Uh, we're, we're getting super close to needing to wrap up here, but would those be the basics that people need to be aware of? Yes. And that things like PFAS isn't PFOS, there's only two methods that can remove all categories of contaminants distillation plus activated carbon and reverse osmosis plus activated carbon. Don't let anybody convince you of anything else. If you want to be assured that all categories of contaminants are reduced to a safe level, that's it. Those are the two combinations of technologies. Okay. Uh, the, the announcement I want to make is, you, you're, do your, does your audience know to contact Water and Wellness slash Greenfield at the end? Yeah, well, they don't contact, but they can visit waterandwellness.com slash Greenfield. And I think that's where we've got some uh, some discounts for folks and everything. And and then uh, can can people order if they're in Canada as well? Yes. And that that uh, I, I want to give you that Canadian website. And that okay. is vitaexpress.ca slash Greenfield. Vita Express.ca slash Greenfield. Okay, cool. And that, that'll that'll give people a, a discount as well. Yes, and that's our distribution company and brand new in Canada. I can be reached at R-O-B-T-S-L-O-V-A-K at waterandwellness.com. Okay. All right. Say 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 the email one more time. R-O-B-T Slovak then Slovak S-L-O-V-A-K at water and wellness, all spelled out. Dot com. What I'll do, folks, just just so you know, if you do have comments or questions or feedback and you don't feel like emailing Robert personally and just know that, you know, you have to respect people's inboxes. If you go to the show notes at bengreenfieldlife.com slash Slovak two, you can also leave your questions, your comments and your feedback there. I'll also link to in case you want a more expansive explanation of water filters and a big podcast we did on hydrogen and some other nitty gritty details regarding water that go beyond the Quinton discussion that we had today. I'll link to all that as well at bengreenfieldlife.com slash Slovak two, Slovak the number two. Robert, thank you so much for coming on the show today, man. Very welcome. And maybe next time we can take out this new reality we're living in. What- <laughs> all right. All right. Sounds good, man. I love you and I'll talk to you later. Love you too. Bye. All right. Bye. More than ever these days, people like you and me need a fresh, entertaining, well-informed, and often outside-the-box approach to discovering the health and happiness and hope that we all crave. So I hope I've been able to do that for you on this episode today. And if you liked it, or if you love what I'm up to, then please leave me a review on your preferred podcast listening channel, wherever that might be, and just find the Ben Greenfield Life episode. Say something nice. Thanks so much. It means a lot.